Clean. Please sit up like a little gentleman. Well, gee, Kathy, I'm just trying to make our house look lived in. <laughs> well, please make it look lived in by people, not by pigs. Oink, oink, oink. Oh, really, Dad? <laughs> I just had the furniture clean, oh, honestly. God, Men oh, around God. the house, really. Answer the door. Oh. Hi, kids. Hi, Mr. Williams. Hi, football. <laughs> <laughs> How was the bowling? Oh, most exciting. Yeah, it was a blast. Fuck. I'm gonna blast you if you don't take your feet off the furniture. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, how did Gina bowl? She bowls pretty good for a chick. Well, we chicks can do a little more than cackle, can't we? <laughs> <laughs> did they bowl in your day, Mrs. Williams? Oh. Oh. <laughs> in my day? No, it was mostly horseback riding. Side saddle, of course. With my school chum, Martha Washington. <laughs> oh, crazy. Uh, may I offer you some refreshment, Buck? No, I'd better peel. It's getting late. See wait wait the... a minute, wait a minute. You gotta give me a chance to get even from yesterday. Come on. Put up. Ten cents, strong man. Oh, today will be the day, buddy. Ready? All right. think to look at this kid that he was once a 97-pound weakling? Of course, he was three days old at the time. <laughs> See you, Buck. Oh. Thank you for a very nice afternoon. Right. Uh, hey, you going to the basketball game tomorrow? Well, I, I don't know. I might give you a buzz. Uh, that's if I don't go with the rest of the fellas. All right. Where does that leave you? Pardon? I mean, about the basketball game. Oh, well, I'm going with him. Did you not hear him invite me? <laughs> That's the way he invites her? What's wrong with it? Whatever happened to old-fashioned courtesy and chivalry? Oh. It wouldn't hurt him to stand up when a lady comes into a room or to hold a chair for her as she sits at her table. Oh, honey, don't pick on Buck. He's no different than any other boys. That's exactly what I mean. What kind of manners are these boys going to teach their children? Are these the fathers of tomorrow? Well, honey, they better be, because there's nobody else warming up in the bullpen. <laughs> come on, come on, get off your soapbox, huh? Senor Williams? Yes? How do you do? How do you I do? I am Mario Firenze from Palermo. You don't say. Uh, <laughs> I am from Gina's hometown in Italy. Oh, oh, well, come in, come in. This is Mrs. Williams, Mr. Palermo. Oh, I'm honored. Gina? How do you do? Mario Ferenzi. Oh, Gina, how delightful to see you again. I bring you greetings from everyone in Palermo. This is such a surprise. Young man. <laughs> just wants to shake your hand. Oh. How do you do? I had no idea you were in America. I have just arrived. Uh, I come to continue my studies. Oh, are you an exchange student like Gina? No, I have hopes to be a singer. Oh, how interesting. Yes, yes, yes it says so. Very interesting. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> shall we uh, sit down? Yeah, yeah, sit down, sit down, make yourself home. Allow me, signora. <laughs> well, so you're a singer, Mr. Friend. Oh, please, I did not come to speak of myself. I am more interested in Gina. At home, everyone speaks of her. I finished my nap, Mommy. Oh, that's my good girl. Uh, Linda, may I present Mr. Ferenzi, my daughter? Ah, ma che bella bambina. I am honored. 
you would like to uh, have Mr. Ferenzi join us for dinner. Oh, you're most kind, but I must return to my hotel. I have not yet finished unpacking. But Gina, now that I have found you, perhaps uh, I will see you again soon? You want to see me again? Uh, ma certo. Oh, I've heard so much about this beautiful city of New York. Maybe you will do me the honor of showing it to me? Oh, well, it is I who would be honored. Oh, you're too kind. Uh, would tomorrow afternoon be too soon? Why, of course not. Excellent. Uh, may I call for you then, let's say, at uh, one o'clock? Oh, that will be fine. Until then. Uh, it has been my pleasure, Senora Williams. <laughs> Young man. I am honored, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Charmed. Oh, but he's not really my friend. Well, you sure didn't act like a stranger. <laughs> but in Italy, he never even looked at me. Huh? Well, you see, he is of a very high family, and a Ferenzi would never associate with a Minelli. Oh, I do not understand. Oh, well, I understand, Gina. After all, you're a very attractive girl. <sighs> but this would never happen in Italy. Wait till Mama hears Mario Ferenzi has asked me to go out. I must write to her airmail special. <sighs> hey, wait a minute. I just remembered she can't go out with that guy. She's got a date with Buck tomorrow. What date? For basketball. You heard him ask her. You call that a date? What? If uh, I don't go out with the fellas, I might drop around. Maybe. Buck <laughs> to Buck, that's a date. Well, she'd much rather go out with a gentleman like Mario, I'm sure, who is sophisticated and suave. Oh, come on. Are you kidding? That guy's not for real. No one could be that perfect. <laughs> Senor, I am so shocked. <laughs> that guy's so polite, he makes Sir Walter Raleigh look like Maxie Rosenblum. <laughs> See, our friend Mario has been here again. Mm -hmm. Flowers every time he comes? Oh, well, I think it's perfectly charming. I think it's perfectly indecent. <laughs> Honey, it isn't just the flowers. It's the things he likes. Listen to this. Carissima, these flowers are but poor, pale things compared to your radiant beauty. Sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't like this guy monopolizing all of Gina's time anyway. She came here to learn about America and Americans. So why didn't she go out with a nice American boy like Buck? Because she likes going out with Mario. Is that he, so? He's so, so uh, cosmopolitan. So, so full of, of uh, what's the word? Lasagna. <laughs> oh, I'm wasting my time talking to you. I have to go pick up a cake. Mario and Gina should be here any minute, and he's staying for dinner. Dinner? You mean again with the flowers and the candlelight? Well, what's wrong with a little atmosphere? What's wrong with electric lights? <laughs> eaten by candlelight, you can't see what you're eating. Last night, I was halfway through the salad before I discovered I'd eaten four gardenias from the centerpiece. <laughs> Every day last week, I try to see if she's out with him. What's a guy got to do to get on first base with that girl? Hmm? One thing, the guy ought to start using the right bat. Huh? You ever buy a girl anything like that? What is it? That's what I thought. <laughs> it's a corsage box. Maria brought her flowers. Holy smoke, I forgot her birthday. No, it's not her birthday. Well, I know it's not Christmas. <laughs> it's not Christmas. Italian New Year? <laughs> <laughs> Just an ordinary, everyday day. You mean, he brought flowers in just an ordinary day? Yeah, and it wouldn't hurt you to bring her flowers when you take her out, either. 
To go bowling? <laughs> Is that all you can think of to take a girl to a bowling alley? Yes, no, Mr. Williams, why, just yesterday I asked her out to the ice cream parlor for a, for a Barney special. What's a Barney special? What's a Barney special? What, it's three balls of ice cream and a scooped out pineapple with a banana on each side and a gob of whipped cream and some nuts and a maraschino cherry on top. <laughs> she turned this down to go with him. You know what they had? Tea. <laughs> well, there's your problem. You're a high calorie boy stuck on a low calorie girl. <laughs> Look, if you're gonna compete with this guy, you gotta beat him at his own game. He's he's sophisticated and suave. So? You got to out-suave him. <laughs> yeah, you. I mean, be a gentleman. Don't come in and flop around and say, hi, chick, let's blast off. <laughs> Walk in. Be a gentleman. Be debonair. Bow from the waist. Kiss a few hands. <laughs> Who's? Who's? <laughs> Simple. Just be polite. Girl's gonna sit down, you pull back a chair for her. Talk to her. Conversationalist, you know, say flattering things. Compare her to something beautiful. Like what? <laughs> What's the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? Rapolsky's 80-yard run against Yonkers High. <laughs> That to you is beautiful? Won the game. Buck, when I say beautiful, I mean poetic, romantic. Huh? Here they are. No. Swab it up a little bit, will you, bud? Huh? <laughs> Uncle Danny, I had the most wonderful afternoon. Oh, I'm so glad. Hello, Hello William. Hello. Mario took me to the art gallery. Uh. They son molto riconoscente. Ah, uh, si immagini. Uh, yeah, you bet. Well, now, <laughs> look who's here, honey. <laughs> oh, Buck. Senor Buck. Uh. <laughs> Gina, my dear, you uh, sure look lovely. I do? Uh, yeah, you, uh, you look prettier than a Barney special. <laughs> Better be running along. I, I read dead chi. Every dead chi. Arrivederci. Oh, no. 
got a pipe there, boy. Lei è molto gentile. You are most kind. Oh, oh why, why, Mary, you should be, be making records and giving concerts. Oh, you're That's very so flattering, so. Signora Williams. But uh, such things are a long way off. I'm a new voice. In this country, I do not know the right people. Oh, well, Mr. Williams can help you out with that. I beg your pardon? Well, uh, Mr. Williams can introduce you to the right people. Mr. Williams, uh, how can he do that? Mario, don't you know Uncle Donnie is a famous entertainer? You know, Zappevo, I did not know. Why, he knows everyone who is important in the theater. Mr. Williams, not, this is true? No, 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 not everybody, but uh, I certainly know somebody who knows everybody, especially in a field you'd be interested in. Henry Cap of National Artists. National Artists? Uh -huh. They are good? Good? Only the foremost artist representatives in the concert field. Ma veramente lei può fare questo per me? Huh? Uh, I mean, <laughs> you would do this for me? Well, I'd do it for anybody who's got that kind of talent, you bet. Uh, che posso dire? I do not wish to impose. No imposition at all. I owe it to my profession, after all. A voice like yours should be heard by everybody. Uh, tell me what I'll do. I'll call Henry Cap tomorrow and set up an audition for you. Oh, honey, that's wonderful. My pleasure. Oh, that's, I don't know how to thank you. Mille grazie, mille volte. Um, Mr. Not Williams, I must go. I must go home and I must rehearse for the audition. Well, good. Oh, bella, signora Williams. Oh, cara Gina, che... Sono felice, ma... Questa è una cosa dell'altro mondo, veramente. Sono bene. <laughs> Dear, you better hurry and dress. Hello, Buck. Hi, Jean. I, I, I won't hold you. I, I know you've got a date. I have no date. Oh, but, Gina, you're going to the ballet with Mario. No, I am not. Why not? Because I don't want to go. Oh, oh Gina, Mario will be terribly disappointed. Why should Mario Ferenzi, whose father has 20 men caring for his grapes, be disappointed that he does not go out with Gina Minelli, whose father plows his own fields. How'd the family get into the act? Oh, it has always been, well, like you say in the act, but for a while I forget this, until this letter come from Mama. Cara Gina, non questo... Oh, I'm sorry, I will translate. <laughs> Here is the part. It is not a surprise Mario Ferenzi would visit you because he come to me to ask, is it true that you are living in the house of a famous American artista, a uh, entertainer? Well, that is not all. He asked, does your Mr. Williams know the people in the music business? Then he says he will go to America and get your Mr. Williams to help his career. I ask, why should Mr. Williams take trouble for a stranger? But Mario says soon he will not be a stranger. That con man. <laughs> he said he'd never heard of me. Oh, he hears of you all right. That is why after all this time when he does not even know I exist, he, he's so gracious to me. And my head was empty of all this, and it was so easy for Mario to turn it upside down. A cotton picking hand kisser. Right. <laughs> I fell for him. Hook, line, and sinker. Oh, I do not want to see him. I can go to my room. No, Gina. Don't go. I want you here. J just sit down. Sit down. Mr. Williams, let me have her first crack at him, please. <laughs> Relax. Huh? Honest, Mr. Williams, what that guy needs is a good shot right in the kisser. Would you just let me handle it, please? Mr. Williams. Just one sock? <laughs> but I can hurt him a lot worse than you can. I'll be a good boy and sit down. Uh, good evening, sir. I don't think so. <laughs> ah, Senora Williams, so beautiful. Look, kid, always. before you get all puckered up. <laughs> uh, the show is over, Buster. What? You can cut off the acting now. Didn't you say that you didn't know I was in show business? Why, no, not until last night. How do you like that? He says it with a straight face. 
Here, this letter from Gina's mother will maybe take that smile off your face. You should be ashamed of yourself using Gina to get to Mr. Williams. Well, I... Senor Williams, you understand how important the right friends are for one's career. I also understand that a career is no excuse for hurting people. Hurt people? But who? Do you mean you really don't know what you've done to Gina? Done? I have brought her flowers. I have escorted her to fine places. I have treated her like a high-born lady. Yeah, but you let her think you were doing it for her. You mean maybe she thinks a romance that I'm courting her a romance between a Firenze and a Minelli. Oh, surely she will not believe such a thing is possible. You actually think that way, don't you? You know what I... Think. Buck, sit down. <laughs> Bing, you see no harm in what you've done. But of course not. What harm? Oh, boy, you know, I feel sorry for you, young fella. Really sorry. Because underneath that polished exterior of yours, there is nothing, absolutely nothing. And that's just what I'm going to see that you get. What are you going to do, Danny? What am I going to do? I'm going to see that this 24-karat phony gets out of that audition. That's what I'm going to do. I told you, Buck, I could hurt him worse than you can. I'll call oh. Henry Cap. Mr. Williams, no. I... What are you doing? Gosh, I... I don't know. I... Well, then put the phone down. Mr. Williams, wait. I... I mean, it just doesn't seem right, that's all. I mean, knocking him out of his audition. What? Well, what I'm trying to say is... What are you trying to say, Buck? What I'm trying to say is... Well, take Rapolsky last year. Oh, we're back to Rapolsky. <laughs> Everybody knew he was a big showboat, and, and nobody much liked him. Matter of fact, some of the guys wanted to hit him in the nose, but, but everyone knew he was a great football player. Nobody wanted to knock him off the team just because they didn't like him. And, well... It, isn't it sort of the... Same thing with him, this creep here. <laughs> I mean, like, sorta, like. Yeah. It's exactly sort of like. I know I didn't say it very well. I'm afraid you said it too well, son. I did? Yeah. You don't like a creep, why you... That's all right, it's something personal. You want to hit him in the nose, maybe that's okay too, because a nose is also personal. But you don't hit a man in his talent, because that's not personal. It doesn't belong to him, not really. It doesn't belong to anybody in particular, it belongs to the whole world. He just happens to be the vessel that fate chose to contain that talent. Just because you don't like the container is no reason to destroy the content. Mr. Williams, you took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know I did. Okay, singer, you get your break. Now get out of here. But, Senor Williams... Look, I don't know if what just happened means anything to you, but for your sake, I hope some of it seeps through that thick polish of yours. Now, get out of here before I change my mind. Grazie. And don't be late for your audition tomorrow. Grazie. I will send you all tickets for my first performance. Oh. Uh, arrivederci. Uh, my friends, arrivederci. I arrivederci. don't believe you at all. <laughs> oh, which reminds me, Mrs. Williams, what was it you were saying about our American boys not having any chivalry? Well, I, I was saying that sometimes a person doesn't even see what's right under her nose. Yeah, well, if you'd use electric lights instead of those cockamamie candles, you could see. <laughs>